When one left art school in the 1970s, it was very difficult to find a job and certainly find anybody to buy your work. There weren't many galleries and um, so there was a scrabble to get a teaching job, particularly if you get a job teaching in an art school, which I managed to do in 1970 in the uh, Reading University for a year, but then I uh, fell out with them there, or they fell out with me, and uh, I went to, to Cambridge and taught in Cambridge for uh, two and a half years. And then, uh, because I found Cambridge rather rarefied, uh, I came back to London and taught in London uh, from uh, 1974, 75 onwards. Um, but um, it was funny really, because in 1975 something happened and it uh, moved me from into a completely different world. And uh, it was a world, I must say, I was rather enamoured with. It was a world of business, and it's quite by chance. And so I always think of the song I'm going to play as something to do with travelling, because travelling up to Nottingham, where the business was. I'll just show you something. This is where I started out in 1970-71, driving one of these um, when I was at uh, Reading. And then when I was at Cambridge... I graduated to a, a VW variant. How about that? But when I got into the business world, I didn't take a salary, but I did take a car. And this is the car I got. It's a beautiful Renault 16. It's a very impressive car. But most impressive of all, in 1976, was this. A BMW 2002 Ti, and that was in the days when BMWs were very rare cars indeed, not like today. So, what happened? Well, um, I had a phone call for my mother again, and uh, it was about a great aunt who had died in Nottingham, and they had a, a chemical company, not Boots, unfortunately, but they made um, laboratory apparatus, these things that weigh things and that sort of thing. Small company, about 20 staff, uh, and she had died and it had sort of gone to the wall a bit because uh, her, her husband had set it up in the 1920s, had died a long time before. And she asked me if I could come up there because the bank were going to foreclose on it. So I went up to Nottingham, I had to go and see the Midland Bank, and the Midland Bank manager said, we'll foreclose unless we have a business plan. And I said, what's a business plan? And he said, a business plan, Mr Grills, and I've always remembered this, there's three pieces of paper. On the first piece of paper, you write down what the company's doing now. On the second piece of paper, you write down what the company should be doing to make money. And on the third piece of paper, you write down how you're going to get from the first piece of paper to the second one. And I'll help you do it. And he did. And so um, it meant that uh, every Friday, I would drive up from teaching in art school to a completely different world of running... Uh, the River Chemical Company, it was called, and even in those sort of non-PC days, I decided to change the name to the River Scientific Company. But um, it was wonderful to go into that world because it was much more direct, and there was some sort of buzz to business that I found as a, an antidote to the sort of like the self-obsessed world of the art school. Um, and I thought, well, should I really be a businessman? And I seem to be relatively good at it. Well, not very good, but... Uh, I enjoyed it and worked on uh, in the summer holidays on it and this sort of thing and uh, I did that for four or five years before we sold the company um, but driving up and down to Nottingham and back uh, from, um, from London um, I always think of the music I played on the, on the, on the eight tracks you had to be careful not to go over a bump because I jumped the track but uh, um, one of the songs I played from that era is this one and I won't sing to it because it is a very pretty song
driving a red BMW up and down the M1 with that playing on the 8 track. It was a different world for art school and uh, I just like the contrast. It wasn't a fashionable thing to talk about in art schools, not in the 70s. That would come in the 80s when I used it to help advance my career because suddenly everybody was interested if you wanted to advance your career in universities and art schools and things like that. Um, they were interested in your business experience rather than your teaching experience. Time to change.